<laughs> okay, this is iteration. I forgot what number. Do you even have an idea what number this is? Daddy, Maybe daddy number five. Number five? Yeah. I've got a bunny attached to me. Just let him go. He's coming back. Number five. five. I think it's like number eight. But either way, yeah. let me see what we got. I've actually just been manipulating the same airplane for a long time. We learned we learned a few things. We have to throw it at the same speed it wants to go. Remember? I mean, what I learned playing around with this while you were running in circles is to hang the weight low. So we got all the weight on the bottom of the plane. Yeah, and then I cut even this and hung it like out the bottom a little bit. So. I'll let you hold the camera since I've been throwing it and I kind of know. Oh, you're scaring the bunny with the truck, buddy. And I kind of know how to throw it, sort of. Go to the side so we can really see it fly. So, like, how? It's just up there, so. Okay. There you go. Yeah, but this has been working pretty well, so let's see if it still works pretty well. You ready? Yeah. I mean, I can throw it further. I can throw it further, but it did fly. Yeah. Let's go get it. Got a pretty good plane. It's pretty much flying. I'll let you try throwing it. All right. Just to see. Daddy, you're pulling again. How you can do it. I got a bunny attached to me. This is a problem. Are you ready? I'm gonna like do it at the same time you throw it. Okay. Ready? I think that wasn't bad, but I think it's hitting. I think you gotta just make sure the props aren't bent because they are bent. Man, I'm great filming here. <laughs> I'm just like all over the place. <laughs> I got this bunny here just ripping my arm off, and anyway. Yeah. Still hitting or no? Yeah, I can. Well, it's okay. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. You ready? There you go. Not bad. Yeah, we'll just fall though. You almost have to throw it down a little. You ready? There you go. See how it kind of went up and then came down? You can try throwing it up, but I think it's going to stall. All right. Oh, you know what we should do? We should like launch it straight into the air and just see if we can get it to like do what we, you know what I mean? Just go for it. I'll just do it. Go for it. Ready? <laughs> Falling with style. <laughs> it like didn't have enough like forward momentum to do any good. Is it still taped on there? Right? So don't throw it straight up this time. Kind of like launch it. Let's just see what happens. Yeah, like just launch it. Ready? Scoot back a little bit. Too close to me. There you go. Ready? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> upside down. You okay? Didn't hit you. Did it? Okay. Scoot back. You're too close. Too close. Oh, he's over there. Well, over there. Playing with his truck. Ready? Oh, oh. It was like a stall. The moon's over there. Oh, it's beautiful looking. Beautiful. You ready? Yeah. Hey! It wasn't bad. I'm doing the remote, by the way, in case you guys are wondering. If you got you guys missed this, the old RC pocket. I'm going to make that circuit even smaller. So it's lighter. If you want. We're, we're in the experimental stage right now because... I won't, I won't. Because we're like, we're really learning what we need to do to get it to function. We got we got pretty good results. Ready? Yeah. So we don't have enough forward momentum, but I was thinking we could strap two motors on there. We just need, yeah we just need to figure out some things to make that happen. So I don't think I published this, but what I did was I took this. Let me see. Bring that here. What I did is I took this. Um little circuit board it used to be 1.5 with a little inverter um, on there and it's kind of interesting and I actually took it a monarch butterfly in the tree 
We'll see if we can get this bunny to come. Brownie, come here. Come on. Come on. Ready? Come on. Come on. Come on. I can't come see the monarch butterfly because I have a bunny attached to my wrist. Mama's over here running after this one. Anyway, you ready to throw this again? Yeah. While Brownie's just eating, I don't know what he's doing. Are you ready? Yeah. I mean, it's like going. Try to try to throw it a little harder than you think you should, just to see what happens. You ready? Yeah. There you go. There you go. There you go. So anyway, I'm thinking about rebuilding that board. The chip runs on 3.3 volts, so it's perfect for the battery. So I think what we'll do is we'll take that circuit apart and we'll make a super unmodified. Oh man, brownie! No, honey. Can I oh my land, that's 18 loops destroyed. Golly! Put that on my hat. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, anyway, we have not looked up anybody else or any other way to do this. I love experimenting through learning instead of through someone else's teaching sometimes. In this case, I'm not looking at anybody else's examples. I'm just torturing myself with failure. But we have success. Oh, there goes Mama. Are you ready? Yeah. The bunny and Mama both run. Throw it this way. This way? Yeah, launch it. No, but you got to be gentle because otherwise you'll flip it over. You know, you got to like figure out how to like... Launch it right. Ready? There you go. So we need more lift. Try um, pulling that out like I showed you. Wait, what? Pulling the center out to get it to fold open. Make make the wings spread out like I showed you. Yeah, there you go. You just have to try. You just have to do it. Hold. Yeah, there you go. There you go. So that give. So that. Do, show them what you just did. Do it again. Hold this part yeah, in right. the middle and you hold this down and then you fold it up. Right, and that and we do it even more. And what that does is it bends the wings in a certain way that gives That's us cool. gives us more lift. Yeah, yeah see how the wings are not flat? That gives us lift. Are you ready? Yeah. Alright, go for it. So yeah, a little bit better, but anyway, we got more we got more to do. I think next time we're gonna put we're gonna take that circuit and put it on its own board. And then we'll um, maybe put two motors on there with its own little driver MOSFET and go from there. I was hoping Brownie would run so we could run with her, but she's not going to do it. Are you ready? If I try to pick you up, will you run? Huh? Will you run? Here, Dex, you do it. It's this button right there. This one? Yep. I when, yeah. There you go. That wasn't bad. I soldered the battery on there. It shouldn't fall off. So if I try to pick Brownie up, she doesn't like it and she'll run. That's a boy. Are you ready, Brownie? You big old varmint. Ready? Go. Come on. 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 That's it. That's all you got. That's all you got. That's it. All right. So now Dexter's really learning how to do it himself because I've been kind of doing it with him the whole time. So it's a dud, but yet it flies. So it's sort of a one one step closer to what we think we now have enough information to like really build something interesting. So anyway, I filmed versions two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so forth, but I didn't publish them. So if you want to see those, let me know and I'll put them on the live channel. It's not really good content for this channel. It's just us throwing this thing into the wind and it flopping against the ground, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, one more time. Yeah, you know, it's heavy. <laughs> Bye, Brownie. High five. What? Come on, give me a high five. High five, high five, high five, high five. See you later. Bye, Brownie. Your floppy, oh, look, floppy they're, ears. They're coming. Who? Them. Oh, cool. Riley and Lily. Riley and Lily. They usually never come to the front. Bye, Brownie. 
see you later, people. Thanks for watching. God bless. Read the Bible more. Ah! <laughs>